local news that matters on Local 22 News. At this place in history, we're on Mount Mansfield. We've just hiked up a good section of the Long Trail with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. So we are here to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the building of Taft Lodge, one of the lodges all along the Long Trail. So I don't know about you, but I'm pretty pooped from this hike, but it's been a lot of fun and I hope a lot of our viewers can come up and visit. So Mike DeBonis, the Executive Director of the Green Mountain Club is here to tell us all about the building of this and lodges along the Long Trail. Great to be up here on Mount Mansfield on the Long Trail. The Long Trail uh, was started in 1910 and it runs the entire length of the state of Vermont from the Canadian border down to the Massachusetts borders. 273 miles, there are 60 overnight sites and we're at one of them. And uh, we have about 300 people that hike the long trail end to end every year and then a few thousand more that do day hikes and, and overnight hikes. So Mike, you said there are 60 lodges on the long trail. Do they all look like this? The overnight sites are everything from a, a tent site to a three-sided shelter to what you have here, which would be a lodge. Uh, four sides, bunks, windows, screens. Uh, as you get further north on the Long Trail, you tend to have more lodges, a uh, little bit colder, a little bit further north. Well, Taft Lodge is special because it's the largest, the oldest structure on the Long Trail. It was built in 1920, just about 100 years ago this month. And it was built to house folks that were hiking the Long Trail. And back around 1918, uh, early Long Trail founders were trying to think of ways to help people connect with the outdoors and they recommended building this lodge on Mount Mansfield. And the idea was that people needed to escape the cities, New York and Boston, and get away from their war worries. And it's interesting that this year we're seeing unprecedented use on the Long Trail. The worries might be different, but the healing power of the outdoors is the same. I can't imagine building this 100 years ago. What was that like? It wasn't easy. Uh, I don't think it would be easy today, but back 100 years ago, there was actually a logging road. So folks uh, took a team of horses and they dragged the logs up the mountain and they built this shelter. Uh, Elihu Taft, who was a really famous, uh, well-known lawyer and judge in Burlington, funded it. In the Burlington section, a local chapter of the Green Mountain Club built it. So it was all built by volunteers and the goal was to get it done by 1920 and they got it done uh, by September of 1920 and had it opened up for public use. So we're going to celebrate Taft Lodge's anniversary. On the 19th, uh, down at Barnes Camp at the Stowe parking lot, we're going to have an event where we really celebrate the, the 100 years. It's the oldest shelter on the Long Trail system, and we're going to uh, dedicate a plaque that'll be adhered to the building, celebrating its, its milestone, uh, tell some good stories, and then we'll cap it off with a hike up to the lodge. Uh, and after a good break, uh, we'll tell some more stories and history about this amazing structure. I think one of the great things about the Long Trail is you, you create your own experience, right? So it's been around for well over 100 years, but uh, everyone that hikes it has a unique experience. And so to be able to stay at this lodge and be part of that history, whether it's a night or something that you do with your family, it's really a treasure and a gift. And it's one of the things that makes Vermont Recreation Resources special. Uh, I've stayed here and I can't tell you, uh, being here in the pouring rain, listening to the, the rain hit the roof, it's a very comforting feeling to have this lodge here and a great resource for uh, folks in Vermont. At this place in history.